Hello guys and welcome to Daily Updates and a good Sunday to you all. Now, today is the birthday of Ntlanta Lux, the leader of the Tujula movement. And on his birthday, there's been a story that was published by Sunday World claiming that Ntlanta Lux is owing a company called Vertex Events in Joburg an amount of 697,000 rands for failing to meet um, uh, the, the co contractual agreement. Now, the story says, in a nutshell, the summary of it says that um, Jobeck Events Company called Even, uh, Vertex Events, sorry, is suing Tantra Lux for failing to pay it 697,000 rands to promote his company at a youth day event in 2015 so you'd you'd know that this is not a current issue it dates back uh, to 2015 further it says that payment is for promoting Ndanta aviation company which is called native airways the money was supposed to be paid within 30 days but Ndanta lax didn't pay now vertex events has asked the court registrar to grant it default judgment against Lux, but the registrar referred ma the matter to an open court. Those are the facts behind the story. Now, no one is disputing that uh, there might be money owed or something like that, but there's also two sides two, two side to a story. At the moment, we are getting a story from the Vertex events via Sunday World. And Tanta is celebrating his birthday. He hasn't said anything about this. Now, I know and I believe that whenever there is a person who starts a movement, who starts an uprising, who comes, who comes up against the unjust system in a country, if we put it like that, there will always be those who are been sent or there's always be those people who come up with um, accuse, accusing uh, this person coming up with claims all these things and you must know some of them not all of them and I'm not saying this one most of them would be to distract that person from continuing with what uh, the person is doing so like it comes with the, with the form of um, going to court, arresting the person, doing all sorts of things, threatening them, promising them this and that, bailing them out, promising them money. Those things, they are in a form of trying to distract that person to say that, man, whatever you are trying to do, we don't agree with you. So we need you to go away. We need you to stop doing what you are doing. And if they speak to you and you don't listen to them, they will try all form of things to do just to distract you, to put you out of your, your, your thoughts, your way. Now, this story, the fact that it dates back to 2015 and Tantalax has just gained prominence now, the media is giving him attention. It's just so fishy. That how does it start suddenly? All along there was nothing about it. Now the story of 2015 is coming up. And the fact that the, the, there were verbal agreements there and there. And then they tried to refer it to, to, to the court registrar to grant it default judgment. And they said no we are referring you to open court. It says a lot about it. That at the end of the day. Whether as people we like what uh, the movement is doing, what Ndlanta Lux is leading, whether people like it or not, it has gained media attention. And when you gain media attention, it means there is something that you are doing that is touching many people. So it looks like Ndlanta has been doing that. And there will be a lot of things that will be thrown at his way in order to stop whatever he's trying to do. I noticed that uh, since he came out of uh, uh, jail, since he was bailed out, he hasn't been so vocal or he hasn't been seen in public. It could probably mean that there is a strategy behind that. 
but also for his safety because when he came out he said that uh, they were trying to kill him so you would understand that if someone is becoming a target the best thing would, for you would be to sit back and just look at the, the battle from far to look at how things are going because if you become arrogant after coming out and being warned and you are just being seen in public you are going all around you might be executed at the end of the day so for him to stay back to sit back at home and just watch the battle from far it makes sense and it also makes sense that there is something they are doing that might actually be right or might actually be pointing at a, 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 a near change that we might experience. And then when that is done, people will try all means to discredit you. So I think the, fair, the, the, the better thing in this story is that we get two sides of the story and we see what the courts have to say about the issue. Otherwise, it will just be like they are just trying to distract the man. And trying to distract the man through papers never works. But anyway, guys, I think all of us, it's just fair for all of us to just say happy birthday to Ntlantalax and wait to hear where the story leads. Hopefully, he makes his comments on the story and then we hear where it leads. Guys, thank you for watching. Until next time. Cheers. Soweto. So today is the 3rd of April and it's my birthday, right? And you know on your birthday, hey man, there's this mystical energy, universal energy. A prevalent. Because it's your birthday. And I thought, you know, I'm going to take this energy gate trap and instead of taking it and, and wishing things for myself, let me try uh, and see if the energy they can meet just severe. So, what I honestly wish on this day, the 3rd of April, which is my birthday, is for Soweto to have true economic freedom in this lifetime. And I don't want to seem boring about it, but they, they say, they say to me, where do you get this intelligence from? I tell them I'm not intelligent by any means. Where I come from, I've got real commanders who are commanding us to make a difference in the township. Yeah. For the people by the people. Yeah. These people produce these people. Commander. Property handover. Handover, 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 handover,